It's time for spelling analysis. Today, our list uses two of our advanced phonograms. This says j. Notice it even follows the rule g may soften to j before an e, i, or y. And there it is, this says j. In this phonogram, the i is not a vowel, it is part of the phonogram that says j. This says j and j. Can you say that with me? J, j. Notice G may soften to J before an E, I, or Y. Here it's softening to J before an E. Remember, advanced phonograms are found in advanced vocabulary words. They are not frequently used, or they're found in foreign words, or words that have been added to English from other languages. Let's go ahead and begin with our list. The first word is forget. Do not forget your library card. Forget. Go ahead and say forget. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell forget. What will we say to spell? Forget. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is for. F or. The second syllable is get. G, e, t. Go ahead and write forget. Sounding it out as you write it. Excellent, and now help me to write it. The first syllable is for, f, or. The second syllable is get, g, e, t. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the or. Let's read it. F, or, g, e, t, forget. Excellent. Now, we said g may soften to j before an e, i, or y. Why is it saying g here? That's right, the rule says it may. Does it always? No, but we know that when it's before an E, I, or Y, those are the only places where it may say J. All right, the next word is region. That is a region of the state I have never been to. Region, go ahead and say region. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm, two. We will say to spell re John. What will we say to spell? Re John. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is re, er, e. The second syllable is John, j. This is that advanced phonogram j, a, n. If you need a reminder of how to spell it, you can look at me. Re, John. And help me to spell it. The first syllable is re, er, e. The second syllable is John, j, a, n. Mm. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the E. Why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the advanced phonogram J. Now notice, if we didn't have that I there, it would say regone because G may soften to J before an E, I, or Y. Otherwise, G says G. Let's sound it out. Er, E, J, A, N. Region. The next word is country. Do you like to listen to country music? Country. Go ahead and say country. How many syllables in country? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell con tree. What will we say to spell? Con tree. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is con. K. Use a k. S. A. Uh, use an ow, o, u, a, uh, u, uh, n. Tree, t, er, e. That's right, it's a ya, e, i, e. Go ahead and write con, tree, sounding it out as you write it. Excellent, now help me to write it. The first syllable is con, k, a, n. The second syllable is tree, t, er, e. How will we mark it? We'll underline the a. Uh. What sound of ow, o, u, a, uh, u uh, is this? Country, country. I think it's the fourth, a, uh, country. And what sound of ya, e, i, e is this? It's also the fourth. And y says it's long sound e in an unstressed syllable at the end of a multi-syllable word. And there it is. Let's read it. K, a, n, t, er, e, country. The next word is quiz. 
We will have a quiz later. Quiz. Go ahead and say quiz. And let's sound it out. Qua e z. This is the phonogram that only says z. Go ahead and write quiz. And tell me to write it. Qua e z. And how do we mark it? Well, underline the qua. Let's read it. Qua e z. Quiz. The next word is surgeon. Uh, she is an excellent hand surgeon. Go ahead and say surgeon. How many syllables in surgeon? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell Sir John. What will we say to spell? Sir John. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is Sir. S. Use a S. -z. Er, the er of hurt. The second syllable is John. J. This is the advanced phonogram, j, z, or j, z, ah, n. Go ahead and write Sir John using this advanced phonogram to spell j, Sir John. And help me to write it. The first syllable is Sir, s, er. The second syllable is John, j, ah, n. And how will we mark it? Well, underline the er and the j. Let's read it. S er j a n surgeon. Excellent. The next word is patient. She is a patient at that clinic. Go ahead and say patient. How many syllables? Hmm hmm. Two. We will say to spell patient. What will we say to spell? Patient. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is pay. P A. The second syllable is shent. Sh. Use a tall sh. E n t. Go ahead and write pay shent. Sounding it out as you write it. And to help me to write it. The first syllable is pay. P A. Second syllable is shent. Sh. E n t. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the A. Why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the sh. Let's read it. P, A, sh, A, N, T. Patient. The next word is nurse. He is a nurse. Go ahead and say nurse. Let's sound it out. N, er, the er of hurt. S. That's a s, z. Silent finally. Go ahead and write nurse. And help me to write it. N, er, s. Silent finally. How do you mark it? We'll underline the er. And then why do we have a silent e in nurse? Well, without the e, it would look like it's plural. But nurse means one. So it's there to keep it from looking plural because it ends in an s. Let's read it. N, er, s. Nurse. The next word is clinic. The nurse works at this clinic. Clinic. Go ahead and say clinic. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell clin ick. What will we say to spell? Clin ick. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is clin. K. Use a k. S. Ul i. Use an i, i, e, y. N. The second syllable is ick. I, use an I, I, E, Y, K. And once again, it's a K. -s. Go ahead and write Clin Ick. And help me to write it. The first syllable is Clin. K, O, I, N. The second syllable is Ick. Ick. Let's read it. K, O, I, N, Ick. Clinic. The next word is hospital. He had to be rushed to the hospital. Go ahead and say hospital. How many syllables in hospital? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell hospital. What will we say to spell? Hospital. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is hos. H, os. This is a s, z. The second syllable is p. I, this is an I, I, E, Y. The third syllable is tal, t, a, o. Go ahead and write hos, p, 
pay, tell. Sound it out as you write it. And to help me to write it, the first syllable is hoss. Hoss. The second syllable is p. P. I. The third syllable is tell. T. A. U. Is there anything to mark? There's not. Why did the I say it's short sound? I and Y may say I or I at the end of the syllable. Let's read it. Hospital. Hospital. Excellent. Do you see a theme here? Yes, there's a number of words about medicine, surgeon, patient, nurse, clinic, hospital. The next word is medicine. <laughs> it is important that you take this medicine twice a day. Go ahead and say medicine. How many syllables in medicine? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell med i sin. What will we say to spell? Med i sin. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is med. M e d. The second syllable is i. I. Use an i i e y. The third syllable is sin. S. Use a k. I, use an I, I, E, Y, N, silent finally. Go ahead and write med, I, sin. And to help me to write it. The first syllable is med, M, E, D. The second syllable is I, I. The third syllable is sin, S, I, N, silent finally. All right, how do we mark it? Well, in this case, why do we have a silent E in medicine? It would be an odd job reason. Another way to handle this word would be to say to spell med -i sign. If we say to spell med -i sign, then we would have the E there to make the vowel say its long sound. So it's kind of up to you how you want to handle that silent E. I'm going to think of it as an odd job reason, but you could think of it as med -i sign. Um, why did this C soften to S right here? C always softens to S before an E, I, or Y. And there it is, it's before an I. Let's read it. M, E, D, I, S, I, N, medicine. The next word is control. This pedal will control the speed. Control. Go ahead and say control. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell con troll. What will we say to spell? Con troll. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is con. K. Use a k. S. A. N. The second syllable is troll. T. R. O. O. Go ahead and write con troll. And to help me to write it. The first syllable is con. Ah, mm. The second syllable is troll. T, er, o, o. All right, what do you notice here? The O is saying it's long sound. Why? There is no seen reason. This is very unusual. It's not before two consonants. I and O may say I know before two consonants. There's no silent final E. And it's not at the end of the syllable. So this is kind of like an exception, or it is an exception to the spelling rules, even though it's saying one of its phonogram sounds. Let's read it. k a n t r o o control. The next word is forgive. It's important to forgive. Go ahead and say forgive. How many syllables in forgive? Hmm, hmm. Two. Say to spell for give. What will you say to spell? For give. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is for. F or. The second syllable is give. G. I. V. That's right. Silent final E. Go ahead and write for give. Sounding it out as you write it. And help me to write it. The first syllable is for. F or. The second syllable is give. G, I, V. Silent finally. How do we mark it? Well, underline the or. And why do we have a silent E in forgive? 
English words do not end in V or U. Let's read it. F or G I V. Forgive. The next word is beginner. She is a beginner. Go ahead and say beginner. How many syllables in beginner? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. Now, what is the root of beginner? It's begin. Let's sound out begin first and write it, and then we will make it into beginner. All right, so let's sound out begin. It, we will say to spell begin. The first syllable is B, B, E. The second syllable is gin, G, I, N. Go ahead and write B, gin, sounding it out as you write it. And to help me to write it, the first syllable is B, B, E. The second syllable is gin, G, I, N. Now, we want to make this into the word beginner. So what suffix will we add to begin to make beginner? You're right, it's the suffix er, which begins with a vowel, because we'll use the er of her. So, what do we need to know? So this ends in one vowel followed by one consonant. And if the syllable before the suffix is stressed, we will double the last consonant. So you can test this by saying the word beginner. Do you feel how your mouth drops open for gin? Beginner. So since that syllable is stressed, we will double the N and add the suffix er. And here we'll mark this, the E set its long sound at the end of the syllable. Let's read this. B -e -g -e -n -n -er, beginner. Now let's contrast that to opener. The garage door opener is on the table. Go ahead and say opener. How many syllables in opener? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. Now, what is the root word of opener? It's open. Let's begin with the word open. What will you say to spell? O pen. That's right. So we will say to spell O pen. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is O. O. The second syllable is pen. P -e -n. Go ahead and write O pen and then we'll talk about it and add the suffix together. And help me to write it. The first syllable is O. The second syllable is pen. P -e -n. And how will we mark this? We'll put a line over the O. Why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. Now, when we make the word opener, which suffix are we adding? We're adding the suffix er again, spelled like the er of her. This is a vowel suffix, so what do we need to know? Open ends in one vowel followed by one consonant. Will we double the last consonant? Well, only if this syllable before the suffix is stressed. When you say opener, you'll notice your mouth opens larger for this syllable. So this is the stressed syllable, so we will not double the consonant. Let's contrast this again to beginner. Beginner, this is the stressed syllable. So if the stress is on the syllable before the suffix, then we'll double the suffix. If it's not, we will not double or we will double the consonant, sorry. If it's not, we will not double the consonant. I hope that makes sense. The next word is scrub. Scrub your hands with soap, scrub. Go ahead and say scrub. Let's sound it out. S, use a s, z, k, use a k, s, er, a, uh, b. Go ahead and write scrub. And to help me to write it, s k r a b. Is there anything to mark? There is not. Great work today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at essentials.logicofenglish.com.